Did you know that ghee is a healthier alternative to regular butter? Ghee is essentially pure butter fat with the milk solids and water removed. This means it's lactose free and safe for those with dairy sensitivities. Today we're taking a journey down memory lane as we're making something that's a staple in every Egyptian household. Clarified butter, or as we call it, Samna Baladi. Hey chefs, if this is the first time you see me, my name is Miriam. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified with all the new recipes. An additional benefit for using ghee in cooking instead of butter is that it has a higher smoking point, making it perfect for sautéing and frying without burning or producing harmful compounds. You'll need unsalted butter so you can control the amount of salt you use. Use as much or as little butter as you want. I usually make bigger batches since I use ghee in almost everything. Add your desired amount of butter, preferably in a pan with a heavy bottom. It will foam up, so make sure the pan has high sides. We want to avoid any accidents or spillage. Then add a quarter teaspoon of salt. Remember, you can always add more salt, but you cannot take away. The key to this recipe is low heat and patience, so keep your heat at medium low at all times. As the butter starts to melt, keep stirring. It will start to foam up. This is a sign that the water content is evaporating. Every time it foams up, give it a good stir. You'll notice it transforming before your eyes. Keep stirring and make sure to scrape those sides. It's like watching magic happen as the butter slowly turns into liquid gold. This can take anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour. Now here's a little secret. The magic behind the nutty aroma and flavor comes from the milk solids. In Arabic, we call it murta. We'll be using this later to make the most incredible eggs, or it can be used as a delicious spread or on your favorite bread or chips. Trust me, it's something that you will fall in love with and will always crave. The amount of time that this will need to fully cook will depend on the amount of butter and how heavy the bottom of your pan is. Now you'll notice the color changes from a pale yellow to light golden hue. This is when you want to kill the heat. Remember, it will continue to cook even after you turn the stove off, so make sure to stop a bit earlier than your desired color. You'll know it still needs more time when you can see that the color is still pale yellow and cloudy, and the milk solids are still white in color. Make sure you keep stirring every now and then to distribute the milk solids so it wouldn't burn. Once the butter is clear and the milk solids are this beautiful golden color, kill the heat and leave it to rest so the milk solids can settle at the bottom of the pan. Remember, it will get a bit darker in color as you leave it to rest. That's why we want to take it off the heat a little before we get the final desired color of the milk solids. Now we're going to strain our beautiful clarified butter. I've got a container with a spout here for easy transfer. Place a cheesecloth or a sieve over it and then carefully pour the ghee through. Please be very careful when you're doing this step as the ghee is extremely hot. I'm actually doing this step in my sink to have more control and avoid any accidents. Also, it makes it easier to clean up if there's any spillage. And there you have it, your homemade Samna Baladi or Egyptian style clarified butter. And the golden treasure at the bottom is the Morta, which I'll be sharing with you how I make my eggs with it. Or it can be enjoyed by itself as a spread or on toast or with pita bread. It's a labor of love and tradition, something I've seen happening in Egyptian households since I was a child. It's not just about cooking, it's about preserving tradition and creating delicious memories. If you enjoyed this recipe, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more nostalgic culinary adventures. Bon appétit, or as we say it in Egypt, Bilhana wa shifa.